Hey you guys, it's me again. So, wait. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, so today I have decided to go all uh, air back. Like, all the stuff that I come back and whatnot. Anyway, so today I want to talk to you guys about a special someone that has been in my life forever. Ever. And this person has not only been there for me, she has also saved my ass plenty of times. She's I mean insanely crazy, she's awesome, she's amazing, and she's like my sister. And who I am talking about is my sister, but the friend in the entire world. Missy. And anybody who knows who Missy is obviously knows that she is Jesus. And she is the ship. Missy, I love you. I miss you. Florida is calling you back. You need to answer the damn phone. Pick up the phone and come back home. Because your ship is going on and not cool with you. And you need to move your ass back to Florida. And that's what I'm saying. And I thought I'd have to say. But anyway. So, I was, uh, looking up on my YouTube and stuff. And I was being bored. And I was like, I'm going to try and find some movies that I haven't seen forever. So, I'm looking through and sifting through the millions of videos that YouTube has to offer. And what do I find? The never-ending motherfucking story. Now, if any of you guys don't know who what the never ending story is, it is about a boy who comes across this book called The Never Ending Story. And he starts reading this book, and the book is uh, about this fantasy world called Fantasia, and all these different creatures that are within Fantasia. And there is a thing called the Nothing destroying Fantasia, and it's up to this little Indian boy named Atreyu to find an antidote for the childlike empress who is deathly ill, so that way she can help them. Well, come to find out that the only thing that can save her is a little boy reading the book, and he has to give her a new name. And that will save Fantasia, and then he can make wishes and then make Fantasia just off the same fucking place again. Because then it's like getting blown up. But anyway, if you haven't seen the movie, it's a really good movie. It's kid family friendly. Watch it. It's amazing. I grew up with it. Uh, let me see. Another movie that I found was Hocus Pocus. If anybody knows what Hocus Pocus is, it is the most uh, amazing movie ever. It's got Bette Midler and Sarah Jessica Parker and some other chick who plays just something from Sister Act. She's the fat one. Like, I love that movie. Oh my god. There's this one part where, um, one of the Sanderson sisters is about to change one of the like kids into a cat in the beginning of the movie and she's like she has the pupa to stand back stand back and then she's all like in the bones in front of the back and then they're like saying some crazy shit like blah 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 like turn him out of his baby blah 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 and then she's all like give him fur as black as black just like this and then they go like this and then like try to do a cat and I'm like oh my god it's just amazing but I love that movie. Like, there's so many movies that I grew up with watching that, like, I hadn't seen in forever that I found on here. And I was like, oh my god, I'm so happy. Like, let me see. I found The Labyrinth. I found The Never Ending Story. Um, Flight of the Navigator. I haven't seen that in God knows when. Um, Explorers. Uh, what else did I find? I found a bunch of shit. And I was like, yeah. 
And then I also found, I also found some videos that are at least an hour long, like a full length movie that you don't have to pay for. Where that was like, she was, was up, was good, that's awesome. So yeah. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So, um, as an update, um, from my last video, uh, fuck that shit, I don't give a shit about what happened, fuck them, I'm over it, anyway. But now, um, I just went today and I took my, uh, tape test, which, anybody who knows what tape test is, it is a test that, um, you take when you go to get your GED, and it basically is an assessment test that shows what classes you're going to be taking. So I took that, and now I have to wait on my classes, which will be at the end of this month, and then I am going to be going and taking and getting my GED. I'm going to get me some education. Because I'm a dumb self worker. No, I'm just kidding. Well, that's the fun. I'm a fucker, I'd rather be born in fucking Philly, or fucking, or Boston, fucking, or Jersey, fucking Jersey. Jersey Shore. I'm just kidding. I don't really, I'm getting on the subject of Jersey Shore now. I don't particularly not like the show, and I don't particularly care. There's a difference between, see, the way I see it, Jersey Shore is just another reality TV show, and me personally, I like reality. Just, I watched all the seasons of Flavor of Love, Flavor of Love 2, I Love New York, I mean, shit, I even watched The Real Housewives of New Jersey, just because I can. So, I like reality TV shows, and they don't bother me as much as other people do. Jersey Shore doesn't get under my skin as much as other people think it does. Like, other people are like, oh, I fucking hate Jersey Shore, I fucking blah 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 blah. And then you have the other people that are like, Oh my god, I love Jersey Shore party with the Jersey Shore boots. Blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna get tanner than a damn orange. <laughs> well, I don't care. It's just a show. I watch it to entertain me. And this is it. It like watching some stupid ass movie on the damn TV. That's all it is. Like a sci fi movie. It's like watching a sci fi original movie on TV. Like, that's all it does for me. I sit there and watch it to see if me and you. And I like well, that's always just funny watching fucking Snooki, Snooki get punched in the face. I mean, come on, she's a short, pint-sized little fucking cruise thing. And she's like, I have just punched in the face. And then she's like, oh my god! And after that, they're talking about all this shit. I want to be a big guy. Everybody's all talking on them shows. I think the only one that actually did something on any one of those damn reality TV shows was New York. When that little white bitch pumpkin spit in her face, she went up and grabbed her by her hair. And smack the bitch into the camera. That was that bitch. New York is a bad bitch and I love it. <laughs> but anyway. So yeah. Other than that, getting back to what I was talking about earlier. Missy, I love you. I love you to death. I love. I love. I love her baby. So much work. I love her. Uh, I can't wait to see you again. I am me and you. Uh, were inseparable, inseparable, and now that you're gone, it's like I've been cut down the middle, and it's not cool. So we need to have the dynamic duo back again, and you need to come back. So like I said, I mean, for the time, pick up your phone. Cause I know you got one, you got a new one, so you need to pick that bitch up and call. And I don't know. Um. Anyway, so leaving it on that note. Um, not much else is going on. I don't really have to plan anything planned for this week other than praying to God I don't get any stupid ass fucking classes. Whatever. So, I'm trying to hopefully live this week out without any drama. I have these to keep me sane. So, oh, by the way, if you don't smoke, don't be. That was a hypocritical statement. Of course, because I smoke and I'm telling you not to smoke, so it's like one of those things. I don't even care. You're like, do what you want with it. Anyway. <laughs> Anywho. So, I'm gonna let you go. And I hope you have fun watching this video. I hope it made you laugh. I hope whatever. I hope
sausage season. Anyway, but now, like, dislike, video response, comment, whatever you want to do, favorite, subscribe, share, post things up somewhere, do your favorite thing. I don't care. Um, do what you want with this video. Want it, love it, hate it. Anyway, um, I love you guys, and...